Aleluya. Amen. 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 Aleluya. Amen. Aleluya. Amen. 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 Amen, 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 hallelujah, amen, Bless the Lord, you are worthy. We thank you, Lord, you are holy. We exalt you, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, worship, honored, adored. You are worthy to be glorified, you are worthy to be honored. For unto you alone we are the glory forever and ever, plus ever and including ever, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Ale, 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 alleluia. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Ale, ale, alleluia. Father, you are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Ali, 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 Hallelujah, 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 Amen, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. I told you, and I've always said it. I told you last time, and I've always said it. Learn how to rejoice in the Lord. Learn how to be happy. Learn how to be glad. Good morning, all of you. God bless you. Wow, what a great and a mighty God. I see a lot of people from Europe here. Yeah? God will keep all of you, protect all of you. From Africa, God will bless all of you, favor all of you. From the United States of America and the North or South America, God will protect and preserve all of you. From Australia, the keeper of Israel will keep you. And Christ them shall be glorified forever. For unto him alone be other glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. How are you doing? I know you slept very well. The Bible said, God giveth his beloved sleep. I've always told you, be happy. Be happy. 
Don't let, don't let anything employ your happiness for one minute. A lot of things may happen around you, this and this and that, but be happy in the Lord. Be happy. Be happy in the Lord. Learn how to be happy. Learn how to be glad. The devil just wants to take your peace. He wants to take your joy. He wants to scratch it and take it off. But don't allow him to do that. Give him no opportunity at all in your life. Tell him you are not worth it. Tell him you can't have it all. My peace? No, 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 no. You are not worth it. Jesus worth everything. The man of all worth everything. You can never be sorry if you obey God. You can never be sorry if you obey God. God, the keeper of Israel, who keep all of you, protect all of you. I know there are families that have gathered now to worship together with us. We shall worship together this morning, and you'll be favored and you'll be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shall we pray? Most precious Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus, the rock of ages. Hmm. The great I am that I am, the mighty man of valor. God, what it to be praised, exalted. Lord, what it to be adored. Father, unto you and unto you alone be all the glory. Thanksgiving, exhortation, excellency to the name of the mighty man of valor. You are highly lifted up. Worship, honor, adored. You are highly magnified. And let your glory be above all earth. We just want to say thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your SLM power and might. You are so good. You are so real. You are so wonderful. Thank you for making us who, who, who sleep and we wake up in newness of life. Your word is about coming forth now. Father, as your word is coming forth, let it come forth with power. Power of healing, power of deliverance, power of restoration, power of salvation, power of conviction. Let the world come forth in power. Let the world come forth in glory. And let there be a divine visitation. Upon our lives, that at the end, Christ alone will be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. You're part of today's blessings, so don't go away. The keeper of Israel will keep you. The protector will protect you. The preserver will preserve you. And you will live to say, Lord, I thank you. You will live to say, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You are still alive in the land of the living, not by your power, not by your making, but by the spirit of the Lord. The Lord is there to keep you. The keeper of Israel is seed that has been keeping you, protecting and preserving you. May his name alone be glorified forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. I have a God who never fell. I have a God that we never fell. I have a King who we never fell me. Who has never fell before. And who we never fell. Forevermore. I have a Savior that can never, never fell. I have that Dio who we never fell, Messiah more. I have my King that we never fell, who we never fell, who has never fell before, forevermore. To God be all that glory. God knows all things, that's why He cannot fail. But for us human beings, we shall fail. In businesses, so that we have more experience. In education, so that we can pick up and be, that, be determined. There are a lot of failure that is waiting for us. Failure is not failure because you fell. It is failure if you fell and remain in failure. If you fell and rise up, you've not failed. It's only where of life and experience of life you must acquire. God cannot fail. He is awesome. He is perfect. He is all in all. He is all round correct. That's one thing about him. He cannot fail. But whatever you see yourself a failure or somewhere, come and rise. The marriage you are in today, that was not what you began. That was not what you planned originally, how your marriage will look like. But you see yourself into such a marriage. What are you going to do about it? Relax. Work it out. 
if not failed. It's only failure. Failure is failure not because you failed. That's what Martin Luther said. Failure is not failure not because you failed. It is failure if you fell and remain in failure. If you fell and have risen up, you've not failed. So I say rise up from every point of failure, from financial failure, from marital failure, from child bringing failures, from marriage failures, from uh, mental failure, or from socializing failure, any kind of failure you have seen yourself, relationship failure, just rise. You've not failed. Have your plan of life failed you? And it seems nothing work out. You've not failed. Arise and shine, for your light has come. Amen. Was he talking about Jesus about him, Biara? And when that part that said God will always show up for you. When you're in need, when you're in problem, God will always show up for you. The mighty man of valor will show up for you. The ancient of the days will show up for you. Jesus Christ, what the mighty and excellent will show up for you. The Prince of Peace will show up for you. He will not let you abandoned. He will not abandon you. He will show up for you. We are today in part 15 of God, Jesus abiding the hour. There are things you carry. They are too heavy. Tell them, Lord, I can't carry this anymore. There was a time I was owing. Hey, the thing was troubling my heart. The thing gave me sleepless night. Oh God, I'm owing. Oh my king, I'm owing. Oh Lord, I'm owing. And I begin to see if you, oh, Bible says, oh no man, nothing except love. Love is what you're supposed to owe people. Not even debt, not finances. I say, hey, I begin to read stories of people who owed and went to hell. I say, oh my goodness, I cannot go there. No, no, nah. Father, how can I run the rest? And then it just because I'm owing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Lord, do something beautiful. I called upon him. He said, you've not called me. You've not told me. I said, please, I'm telling you now. I'm holding you. And before I understand it, the money was provided. I paid and I did. <sighs> I bred down. Deep down. Because I've been free from financial bondages, from debt, being a debtor. Ah. Do you know if you are owing any man, you are a slave to that man? To God be other glory. We've seen a lot of people where Jesus showed up. The one who read last, we see him showing up. Oh, in the Red Sea, he showed up. God will show up for you. He is a body in Biara. All you need to do is to live a clean life. A pure life, a righteous life. That's all you need to do. A clean life, a pure life, a dedicated life. Life of love, life of truth. Be an example of believers. In ways, in action. That's what God wants you to do, beloved of God. You may say, why is this man of God concentrating in preaching about divine directives? Ah, why can't he preach about prosperity? Man, let me tell you, money is the cheapest thing that can happen to you. We can be talking right now, you have no fadden, you have no dollar pill, you have no pound, you have nothing, and in the next one hour, you could become a millionaire. God knows how to transfer words of nations. That's not what I'm talking about. It's so cheap that Bible says when the word of a man pleases the Lord, he will even make his enemies to be at peace with him. And the Bible says our water and our bread, they are sure. That means whenever you're worshipping God's name in spirit and in truth, your, the water you drink, the food you drink, the bread you're going to drink, anything drinkable, they are sure. That's what the Bible says. So if, I'm talk, if they are sure, we're talking about things that are sure. The meal I know that must be passed and you must eat. Jesus is cooking it. Then if I know all these things are very sure, if I know all these things are very real, then why should I in any form, in any way, trouble myself? No, I don't have such a time. I'm not going to trouble myself for anything. Okay, today we're going to talk and say, He never abandoned Daniel. While well, giving example, he needn't abandon Mary and Martha, he showed on their case. He is a burden bearer. He will not abandon you. You may be saying, have I not been praying? Keep on praying. It's not a matter of praying alone. Pray and live a clean life, be truthful. Pray and have faith and confidence in the Lord. You know, Bible said in Mark chapter 11 verse 24, <clears throat> 11, 24 of Mark, the Bible said, whatever thing you pray for, whatever thing you pray for, whatever thing you pray for, 
believe that you have it, it will be yours. And that verse said, another uh, uh, version of the Bible said, whatever thing you desire, when you pray, believe you have it, it will be yours. Are you hearing me? Why not believe him in your prayers today? Why not say, but I have prayed? I have prayed with a lot of people. They say, hey, Daddy, hey, it's raining. I don't know when this rain will stop. I said, but I have prayed. Daddy, the way I'm saying this, one woman came here who prayed, spent time praying. She came up back again to begin to talk about the same issue. That if you say how heavy this thing is, eh? I said, what? He said, that that I told you we prayed about. I said, sure. Madam, have we not prayed over that issue? Have we not handed over? Eh, that you know, I didn't tell you the deeper part of it. Eh, after prayer, so he said, no, let me tell you the deeper part of it. I said, sorry, we don't have to do that here. What we do is that the Bible said, no matter how great and mighty, God is above all. He that is above is above all. So, believe the issue is settled. And that is uh, where it is done. Hallelujah. Jesus never abandoned. He will always show up for you. Let's get to the scripture. Daniel chapter 6. Let's read from verse number 1. We're going to read a longish verse. Uh, but we're going to jump some. Daniel chapter 6. Let's start reading from verse 1. Daniel chapter 6 from verse number 1. Daniel chapter 6 from verse 1. Daniel chapter 6 from verse 1. It pleased the Lord to set over the kingdom and 120 princes which should be over the whole kingdom. And over these three presidents, and over these three presidents, of which Daniel was first, that the princes might give account unto him. And the king should have no damage. The, then this Daniel was preferred above the president and the princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole room. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The difference is clear. Our difference is clear. Oh, he has excellent spirit. No matter the level of training they get to, no matter the level of charm they go for, he has excellent spirit. Every child of God should have the excellent spirit. Jesus came. If Daniel could have excellent spirit in the Old Testament, how much more New Testament? You that is listening to this message right now, may you have excellent spirit. Let an excellent spirit from Jehovah be given to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Then this Daniel was preferred above all of them. An excellent spirit was found in him from verse 4. Then the president and the princes sought, sought to find the occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault. For as much as she was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. There was no error, there was no fault. Oh God, what a testimony. What a testimony. There was no error, there was no fault that was found in him. Then said this man, we shall not find an occasion again this day. We find any occasion again than now. Except, look at verse 5. Then said this man, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God, concerning the law of his God. Then this president and princes assembled together to the king and said, Thus says the king, and, and said thus unto him, King Darius, live forever. All the president of the kingdoms, the governors, and the princes, the counselors, and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statue and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it should be not changed according to the law of Medes and Persians which allotted not. Wherefore King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he knelt upon his knees three times a day, and prayed, and gave thanks before his God, as he did aforetime. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at verse 15. Let's jump down to verse 15. And this man assembled unto the king and said, and said to the king, O king, 
that the Lord of Medes and Patients, uh -huh, that no decree, no, okay, let's start 15 again. Then these men assembled unto the king and said unto the king, No, O king, that the Lord of the Medes and Patients is, that no matter how, no, 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 that no, no decree, no statute, which the king established may be changed. You know, now, king, you know. Then the king commanded and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lion. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God whom thou serve continually, he will keep thee. Oh my God. Verse 17. And the stone was laid, brought and laid upon the mount of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, and with the signet of his Lord, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Hey! God! Our body in Biara. Every situation my Lord knows. Oh yes, he knows. Every condition the Lord knows. Oh yes, he knows. Every hardship I say he knows. My Lord knows, he knows. Every insult in my life the Lord knows it. He knows, he knows, he knows. Every bad condition the Lord knows. He knows, he knows. Every can go up against you the Lord knows. He knows, he knows. Every situation, every gang up, everything whatsoever, the Lord knows. The Lord knows about every situation. The Lord knows about your going out and your coming in. The Lord knows the pains you're passing through. The Lord knows the shaking you're having. The Lord knows everything about you. Masha, your mama, let the name of God be glorified. Let the name of God be magnified. Let the name of God be honored. Let the name of God be adored. Let the name of God be praised forever in the name of Jesus. We're now talking about a man the Lord showed for up forth again. Your father's were a child of God. In any country of the world you are, in any state you are, in any local government you are, in any vicinity, any village, even the remotest of the remote of the village, the Lord is there. His presence and his eyes is there. He knows how to be there. He knows how to talk to you about the situation. The Bible, the word of God said, in an issue like this, a man called Daniel, he has interpreted the handwriting, he has interpreted the dream of the king. He has done a lot of things. He was a famous man. Well known. And people become jealous. Who are new is jealous about you? Let me tell you. Until people become jealous about you, there is no mighty manifestation of God in you. If you are doing anything and people are not jealous, hand of God is not upon your life. As far as hand of God is upon your life, people will be jealous. Jealousy is one of the things you know. Your age mates, people, you know, your level, whatever. Because you're exceeding to be greater than them, jealous will come. Are you hearing me? Be the time you're suffering as a child of God, preserving yourself, keeping yourself holy, pure. By the time they were messing themselves up, wumbling and living in sin and unrighteousness, you said, no, I'm not going to do this. By the time they were living and meandering themselves in unrighteousness, you said, no, I will not go zigzag in life. I will go straight to the Lord. I will go and live with the holy power of the Lord. They never knew all these things. They were messing up themselves. They were eating their cake and wanting to have it again. By the time they were living in unworldliness, putting all their eggs in one basket. By the time they were living in lies, in immorality, in abortion, thinking they were enjoying life. You were keeping yourself. By the time Jehovah begins to show for you, they will say, ah, ah, what is happening? They will look for a fault. They will look for a way. One thing or the other thing to say against you. It doesn't happen that way. The Bible said the king have a kingdom. About 120 different nations. He said kings, kings, princes of all of them. And have three vice presidents. Of all of them, he made Daniel number one of the three vice presidents. Of 120 nations. 
Children of God have been attending positions. Children of God have been elevated even outside their town, outside their country, even as slaves. They still become great over there. Ha! And the Bible, the word of God said, all these things, these people say, ah, King so much love this man. How can we stop this man? How many plots is going up against you? How many are going against you? How many? But there's one thing here I love so much. The Bible said, when they look for a way to hold him down, when they look for a way to pull him down, of all they did, of all their aspirations, of all their movement, Bible said, they could not find a fault. They came through women and said, no, no, there's nothing to do with women. They came through drinking and said, let's give him beer and let him drink. And they said, no, no, he doesn't drink. They come through lies. They, say, ah. they came through bribe. They said, Daniel, ah, you don't know him. He doesn't take bribe. I love that testimony. I just like the testimony. In every aspect they came through, they cannot get Daniel. Child of God. Maybe they say, let's speak a bad word that will hurt him. You don't know that woman. She's full of anger. You may be keeping yourself as a married woman, so I will not mess up myself, or you may be living in anger. Small thing, living, living it all along. He that said don't kill is the same here that said don't tell lies. Quick provocation. The children are watching. Are they going to their husband's place with this provocation? They learned it from you, madam. They learned it from you. You and Olga have not been settling your case inside. Either your children is supporting you or the children is supporting the husband. Do you see the divide and rule you are doing? Can't you forgive? Can't you make these children to have a future? Let them love their dad, let them love their mom. Tell them how much you love them and how much you care for them. They are precious gifts given to you from the Lord Himself. The Bible said they couldn't find occasion against them. What are the occasions? When you call your husband now, he knows the occasion to be found against him. When you call about your wife, he says, Ah, if you do him this thing, you'll be offended, you'll be annoyed. Your children knows what will be happen, and you'll be offended, you'll be provoked. But for Daniel, he refused to succumb. He has chosen a God that is worthy. He has chosen a God that is alive. He has chosen a God that is wonderful. He has chosen a God that is great. A God that will never die. A God that will never, ever, ever change. That's the God Daniel has chosen. Ah, I love that song that said, I have chosen the way, I have chosen the way, I have chosen the way, the way of Calvary. The song meant more to me when I went to Gogota, when I went there physically to see the Gogota, the mountain of skull. I begin to imagine where the cross was standing, where they crucified them. Chai! And I begin to say, I really have chosen the way, the way of Calvary. What are we trying to say, people of God? For great is the faithfulness of our God unto this great King, our Lord, unto this great man of all beyond our glory forever and ever. Hallelujah. And the Bible, the word of God said they could not find any occasion against him. They said, ah, since we can find, let me tell you, he loved God so much. If we want to stop him from worshipping God, he will react. He will not listen to us. They say, let's go and make a law. I don't know plan that is going up against you. I don't know evil that is going on against you. They shall fail. They shall be disappointed. God will make them to fail. The almighty power of God. Every plan that is going on against you, they shall collapse and fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I love what the Bible said in the book of Psalms. I just so much love what the Bible said. In Psalm 27. I love what the Bible said. Psalm 27, verse 1, 2, and 3. Psalm 27, verse 1, 2, and 3. The Bible said, The Lord is my, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Verse 2. When the wicked even my enemies, my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh. They shall stumble and fall. Have you seen it? Not do you fight them back. Not that they shall stumble and do what fell. We are portion is to be with the Lord, remain in the Lord, stand in the strength of the Lord. Verse 3. 
Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fail. Though war shall rise against me, in this I be confident. Have you seen it? War shall arise. Child of God, war will arise. Troubles will arise. Pains will arise. The Bible said in all these things, we are more than conqueror. Through Jesus of Nazareth, that been setting us free through his power and might. Hallelujah. They rose up against him. Let's go through his God. If you tell him don't go to church, if you tell him don't go to fellowship, ah, you have gotten him. There are a lot of people that never face persecution. Any small thing, say, because I'm going to church, I'm going to drop. But there are people that from day one, they repented people. They were told, if you try go to church, I'll deal with you. You'll be dealt with. Daniel passed through such a persecution. He passed through such a persecution. Let's try it with his God. Ah, and they said, okay, let's do it that way. Uh, look at verse 5. Well, we're reading in Daniel chapter 6. Remember, we're exposing Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6, look at verse 5. Then say this man, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the Lord of his God. Except in the matters of God. God. You see, the end time is here. You see what's happening in Israel? Somebody, I think two senators sponsored the bill that anybody that preaches Jesus in Israel will go to one year imprisonment. You see what they are doing? Will it work? I, will, I begin to laugh. Yesterday night when we were praying, I discussed it with my family during family devotion. I said, do they know what they are doing? Jesus made Israel everything they are. The pre-criminage alone, the number of people that troop Israel in a day, that's where they make their bulk money. And they fight, God fight, kept them, they want to fight because they believe in God the Father, they don't believe in God the Son. They want to promulgate the law in Israel. But anybody that preaches Jesus of Nazareth shall be in prison for one year. Could you imagine that? All the pilgrimage, let's say every day, you have about a thousand people that visit Israel. Let's just use it minimum. A thousand people that visit Israel. And they all pray Jesus. They carry the 1,000 of them in prison. In 10 days, 10,000 people have visited Israel. And they carry the 10,000 of them and imprison them. Maybe in uh, 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 100 days, they have had 100,000 that will carry them and imprison them. Uh -huh. In a year, they have about 360,000. In 3 years, in 4 years, every prison in Israel will get filled up. And the people will realize. They, 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 they will make funny of them. One of them because when you go to prison now you'll be eating good food. Anybody that wants to go to prison will go to Israel and preach Jesus. And they will dump them in prison. And Israel will be suffering. Feeding them. They don't know what they are doing. I, I just ridiculed it through that point. I started laughing. I said they don't know what they are doing. My wife was in Israel with me. My wife said for what? What should they do? It? Is it not Jesus that made them everything they are? How much are strangers and visitors contributing in Israel? That was what my wife was saying yesterday night. I said honey they don't know what they are doing. You know, the devil is not intelligent devil. He's a, Bible says he come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But the Son of Man came to give us life, and life in abundance. They made law against Daniel. And all these presidents, they gathered together again, went to the king, and said, okay, they knew the king loved Daniel so, 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 so much. Oh, king, live forever. The king said, thought that they came for good. When people came to praise you, there are people that when they, the only time they come to prison is the time they demand something from you. The time they want to have something from you. Oh king, you live forever. They will tell you this, tell you this, tell you this. Praise you. We came to appreciate you. You are wonderful. You are great. You are this. You have done this. After that they say, ah, that's why I have this need. I want to come again. Those people are not intelligent. The day you appreciate a man is not the day you make a demand from him. Are you hearing me? Appreciate him for what he has done. Go. If there's a demand, he must do. Do it another day. But some people feel they are wise, they are intelligent. They will come and appreciate a man. Talk good, talk good, talk good. After that, they say, eh, why I came is because of this. You came for that, not because of the appreciation. Hallelujah. Remember, appreciation is application for more. They say, they came, king, live forever. You are a great king. Since you have been living, since you have been ruling, it has been wonderful. King was praised. They said, king, 
because of the way we see, the way you are supplying things. In fact, we don't need God of heaven. It's not that the Israelites are making such a law that, they, that this is what they want to make. If he preaches us to go to one year imprisonment in Israel. Funny. Too funny and ridiculous. Will it stand? <laughs> Hallelujah. And the Bible, the word of God say, they praise the king. I said, the way you supply them, the way food is coming, the way abundance is coming, king, in fact, we don't need to gather in to pray. We must only pray for you. Only pray for you. Eh? We pray to you. Not for you. We're going to pray to anything we desire. You're the one that's going to give it to us. For whole one month, 30 days. The king said, wow. I think that's beautiful. You people are honoring me. They don't know they were destroying him. If you're in position, be careful. The kind of information you're taking. Just like the judge is now that is handling the case in Nigeria. They don't know what they're doing to themselves. They don't know what they're doing to themselves. Mm. Hallelujah. They don't know what they're doing to themselves. God will arise. In the power of his might and majesty, God will arise. And Christ them shall be glorified forever. Amen. Mm. King, let's put it in writing that it will be unchangeable. That nothing on earth will make it to change. The king never knew they were planning for somebody. He said, when my enemies will rise up, try to eat me off. I shall not be afraid. The Lord will fight my battles. God will fight your battle, children of God. God will be the one to vindicate you. All you need to do is to be on the side of righteousness. God does not abandon people. He cannot abandon you. He even went far to say, even when your mother, your father, your brother, when people abandon you, he, the Lord, will not abandon you. The Lord God Almighty will not abandon you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will keep you by the power of his mind. The Lord will keep you by the power of his excellency. And the name of Christ alone shall be glorified. Mm. The Bible, the word of God said, they made their decision. King signed it. Oh, wonderful king. They have a trap somewhere. You will not fall into that trap. Whosoever that dig a pit shall fall into it. I decree anything made against you, any plan made against you, will result to your promotion. Any plan they made to pull you down will result to your promotion, will result to your success. And you say, I rejoice in the Lord every day. Every evil the man, the Lord have turned it around to my own better man. God will turn it for your own betterment. Don't think you're suffering. Don't think you're in pain. Don't ask us on God, where are you? He is walking out. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around for your good. As I can see everything turning around. Everything is turning around. Everything is turning around for your good. No matter where they plan it, in Africa here, in Europe where you are, in America where you are, in Africa where I am, in Australia where they are, it shall be turned around for better. Everything turning around. Everything turning around for your good. For our good, oh, I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything Turning around for our good. Everything is turning around for your good child of God. Don't be afraid. You will not fail. And the Bible, the word of God said. When Daniel knew this, look at what happened in verse 10. In verse 10. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem. He knelt upon Okay, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God. As he did a photo of that, he had been doing before now. He had been praying three times. How many times do you pray? You only pray in the morning, not even that you pray. You woke up, you are rushing for job, you say, God, I thank you. I give you prayer. I thank you, I thank you. You left. In the night, when you come back again, instead of devoting time with the Lord, you say, Lord, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. No, that's not the way. That's not the best. That is not the best. Hallelujah. As I've been doing a photo, he opened his window towards Jerusalem, connecting God. Today we open our window towards Jesus of Nazareth. How do you know the direction of Jerusalem? When, wherever you see the Islands praying, whenever the Islands are praying, they will back 
Jerusalem. So the position of Jerusalem all over the world is that whenever you see the Muslim praying and they are backing this way, they are facing this way, that means Jerusalem is at their back. Face that way they are facing, that is Jerusalem. But our deliverance, formerly the deliverance was on Mount this, on Mount this, on Mount that's where the glory of God is. But today, our deliverance is in Jesus. And the Bible said, they that shall serve him, will serve him in spirit and in truth. Our deliverance is in Jesus. No mountain again, no hill. No name, no animal could save us except the name of Jesus. No blood of lamb. That's what I mean by animal. No blood of anything can save us. The blood of Jesus. The God, the great cleanser will cleanse us. Hallelujah. He prayed. They saw him. Ah, what are you doing, Daniel? I was praying. He prayed in the morning. Daniel, we saw what you did, though. In the afternoon, he prayed again. In the evening, he prayed. Bible says he continued this normal way. The law is not made for the righteous. The Bible says the law is made for the lawless, for the killers, for the drunks, for the fornicators, for people that do evil. The law is not meant for that righteous man. He's above law because he has the law of grace and power of grace inside of him. He lived a clean, holy, sanctified, and a dedicated life. That is why when your villagers are saying they want to come together and be in a covenant so that this person will not kill this person, they bring color. Don't shoot, don't be. You are above that covenant they are making. They are going through a goddess. But Bible says you are gods. Are you hearing me? You are God. You are connected to the most high God. God will show up for you. Don't be discouraged. Are you looking for your purpose? Oh, you are working hard to do this and that. God will show up for you. Jehovah will show up for you. And you are going to have a testimony. You have been hearing a lot of people. Great. You see what has happened? But to, tomorrow is your turn. And today is your turn. I know when Peter B was in primary and secondary school, he was talking about Zeke, Zeke, Zeke. He never knew. His name would co so come out. Like that. When you honor people, God will honor you. When you honor God, God will honor you. When you what people I mean is that people when you honor people, God have honored. But when you compromise to make a quick name, you will be a failure. Three times he got up to pray. And the Bible said these people went to the king and said, God, King, did we not say? King said, Yeah, 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 we did. Ah, what happened? That's one who a slave for that matter. He came and was bowing down. King said, what? Who is that? Daniel, King said. Oh. Hey. Hey. King was disappointed. King was disappointed. Ah. Oh, what am I going to do? King, the Bible said, the king was looking for a way to set Daniel free. Look at verse 14. Then the king, when he heard this thing, this way, we are so displeased with himself. And set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored to the going down of the sun to deliver him. He labored. Try! How am I going to adjust? How am I going to do this? Just like what is happening in Nigeria right now. They are saying we have, the, 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 the INEC has aired. The presidency have aired. And all of them have heard. They have compromised. They say, how are we going to do it? How are we going to? They want to doctor it. Even the king himself could not do it. Yesterday, uh, there was a leaked uh, information. Somebody was talking. I said, how can incumbent governor of Abia State in Nigeria, how can incumbent governor allow an ordinary citizen to come and overpower him? That man is very lazy. He couldn't do this. He couldn't do that. That's what they have been using. They use the power of incumbency. Police is under their control. The governor, the, 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 as a governor, police is under their control in the state. Army is under their control. DSS is under their control. And the uh, electoral chairman is under their control. But that's not what the way it's supposed to be. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Oh my goodness. They were saying he should have done this and he would have turned it and overturned this and overturned it. He would have done this and that. That's the way they've been doing it. Wicked people. And these wicked people are just few. God will flush them off in the government of Nigeria. And people will have peace. And gospel will explode. And people will go for and preach Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 
Daniel prayed. The king came forth to deliver. Let me tell you. In vain is help of men. When God has destined something about you, when God said you must pass through this experience, you must pass it. People have been doing, look at, I was going through some information yesterday or day before yesterday. Nigerian senator, one of the, I think he has been a senator for how many, if not three, three, three times. If not three, it will be four times. Senator. Every year is the senator. If you see the head care in his own village, you will cry. Yet you will go overseas for help. I was convicted there. I don't know how many years imprisonment they have given him, him and the wife. But wanting to bring somebody to transplant the heart of that, uh, the kidney of that person to the child. That person is supposed to be the one to be in pain, and the child is the one supposed to live. Wickedness. But it was not in Nigeria. If it is in Nigeria, ah, it would have gone off. It was abroad. Somebody say, will he agree to go to prison? He has no option. Except they want to show him mercy and tag money. Hallelujah. Mm. The king labored. The Bible says he labored to the going down of the sun. How can I do this? How can I doctor this? They are trying to doctor this in Nigeria, but I neck. The moment they want to doctor it more with the lawyers, with the advocates, with the uh, chief justice of Nigeria, with the lawyers, with the judges, with whosoever, the more they want to doctor it, the more it will leak. Are you hearing me? God is in it. God is in it. This is the time for Nigerians to be liberated. You see, the, 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 the man that won in Abia State, do you know Abians were singing? Dancing and rejoicing and saying, for 24 years, Abians have been under bondage. But now God has delivered them. If you get to the city of Abba, the, 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 the one of Africa, you will cry. The moment it rained, the road on Bakwe built, shattered, destroyed. Those of you outside Nigeria may not understand what I'm saying. Those of you who are not Nigerians may not understand the kind of road I'm talking about. This is where the governor himself, that was the city. They were crying and saying, if somebody from this local government will win, somebody from this Abba city will win, Abba will, be, Abba will be wonderful. Somebody won from there. And it was the worst. Wickedness. What are you doing with the money? Public fund for that matter. You have Godfather. Thank God, Godfatherism in politics have been broken in Abia State. It will soon be all over Nigeria. And things will work out. These Godfathers, the cabals, have destroyed a lot of things. And God is busy flushing them out now. The king said, Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I did that, 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 that. He cannot do anything. God has signed something to prove a greatness, uh, his greatness where Daniel is. And the Bible said the king didn't know what to do. This man assembled and told the king. Look at what they told him in verse 15. Then this man assembled unto the king and said unto him, King, O oh king, know that the law of Medes and Pedias is that no decree, no status, quit the king established may be changed. He doesn't change you. King, go. remember that it's unchangeable. Remember it's untouchable. Eh. Hey. Mm. Would they have passed the judgment? What judgment have they passed against you? The Bible said in the book of Colossians, chapter 2, even from, from verse 14, it said, The handwriting of ordinance that was made against you has been removed. Hallelujah. Look at what happened in verse 16. When they could not do anything, verse 16, look at what happened in verse 16. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou serve continually, he will deliver thee. And the stone was brought and laid upon the mount of the den, and the king sealed it up with his own signet, and with the signet of his laws, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Yay! I have a God who we never fell. We have a king that we never, never fell. Where have they put you? In what dungeon? In what den have they put you? Den of destruction, den of sickness, den of poverty, den of accusation. Whatever den, you will come out clean. You will come out smooth. You will come out victoriously. Have the devil targeted your marriage? 
Have you seen the mind of your wife against you? You come out clean. You are passing through a lot now. Through all those now, I say you come out clean. Man of God, woman of God, my brother, my sister, beloved of God, child of God. You will come out clean. You will come out clean. I say you will come out clean in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Look at what happened in verse. The king went in and could not sleep. There's no peace for the wicked. As many that have been planning against you, the Lord have removed their sleep from their eyes. They will be so uncomfortable. They will be so troubled. That, ah. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him. And his sleep went from him. Woo! No, let them go and plan more. That is God showing up. Early in the morning, the king could not sleep. He went there. Oh, oh, is that how Daniel ended up? That's how Daniel. I love him so much. He is great. I wanted to make him the deputy, my deputy. He had been vice. I wanted to make him deputy direct so that other people would be under him. I wanted to make him to be in charge direct. Oh, oh, I don't know. And I couldn't help him. I'm protecting my throne. If not, I would have told them to forget about that. But I don't know what is going to happen now. Oh, Daniel is there. He was lamenting. He was crying. The people that are crying for you, thinking you are get gone, thinking you are dead, they never know it is right with you. It is clean with you. It is neat with you. Tell them to cry for themselves. When they were crying, Jesus said, Oh, daughters of Jerusalem, don't cry for me. Cry for yourself. If you know what is going to befell you, you'll be crying for yourself. Don't cry for me. I'm okay. I'm all right. I came for the mission. I'm fulfilling the purpose. By with through it, I came. For me, it no evil will happen. I came for a mission and I'm clean. I am finishing the mission. Child of God. Daniel came for that mission. There is purpose you came for. You will pass through turmoil. You will pass through pain. And out of that pain, your gain will come. Don't think everything will be smooth. There will be a shaking time. There will be a trouble time. There will be a time when things uh, uh, look catastrophic. catastrophic. Are you hearing me? The catastrophe of life will come. The shaking will come. The meandering of things will come. But in all this, in the Bible, so we are more than conquerors. Through Jesus that strengthens us. Hallelujah. Mm. The king said, oh, is that how Daniel ended? I couldn't sleep yesterday night. I had no peace. I have no rest because of this man I love so much. The Bible said, when he went there in the morning, he never knew what happened. By the time Daniel was dropping there, they closed it. The lions all went there. Oh, oh. But before, that, that was what they were expecting. They were expecting to hear the roar of a lion. They didn't hear any roar. This reminds me of what happened. There was a season. I think that was sometime last year in my house. At the upper floor, you know, every minute, every second of the day, rodents, rats, all the sudden, they went upstairs, uh, up in the ceiling. In the middle of the night, when you're sleeping, there may be about five, six, seven, ten of them disturbing. Ah! Why can't you happen? They're disturbing in the morning, they're disturbing in the afternoon, they're disturbing in the evening. You must notice it if you visit my house. One day I went to market. I said, I bind all these things and I went to market. I got a special rat killer. I put it in bread, I put a lot of things, put them. And pour them, throw them on the ceiling. Do you know? Ah, after 10 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, we never had a noise. Ah, I told my wife, everywhere is so quiet. Why? Do you know? As I'm still talking to you, now quietness is there. In the flowing day, you begin to see big, 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 big rats. Dead. We saw over 10. We don't know the one that died inside the ceiling. Big, big, big things that were disturbing the die. So we never had the noise again. So these people never had the noise of Daniel again. They never had the noise of lion. Then they, they were expecting somebody to ah oh hey God where are you? That was the expectation. Hallelujah! But they will not hear such. Ah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The king. Hallelujah. Before Daniel could land there, God spoke to all the lions and said, go into emergency fasting. God is the creator of all this. He will show for you. I told you he will show. All the lions begin to fast. Hmm? They went into emergency fasting. The, the food has not come. This one is not edible. This one is wearing the glory of the one that made us and created us. Now lions went into emergency fast. Every lion in your life that came to devour you will you get into emergency fasting in the name of Jesus Christ. Lion will see you and forgot in his memory that he is human being. Every danger will see you and this dangerous and dangerous part will disappear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will show up for you. Your body bearer is there. He will not allow you to die. He will not allow you to perish. Daniel was there. Could you imagine in the night when Daniel wanted to sleep? Sleep has come now. They did it in the evening. Lions were obedient. Sleep has come. Oh, Daniel needed to sleep now. Could you imagine the lions coming to fold themselves? This one was there. The other one was there. They made themselves all together. And Daniel slept on the living body of a living lion. Could you imagine that happening? Because there is God. There is God. When you get to the house of a traditional ruler, you only see the dead skin of dead lions. Skin of dead lions. The man that has the highest escort in the world is Daniel. He had lion escort. He was standing lion was by the right, lion was by the left. And the life lion, a white lion for that matter, was by his right, was by his left. Kept by the power of the Lord. Protected by the power of the Lord. Preserved by the power of the Lord. Who are the lions that came to eat you up? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no lion will eat you up. I said 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 no lion will eat you up. No lion will eat your husband. No lion will eat your wife. No lion will eat your children. No lion will eat your business. No lion will eat your connection. No lion will eat your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. From today, by me hearing this message and you tune up your faith, every intimidation of any lion has been stopped in your life. Who are the lions? And where are the lions? Uh, they have been intimidating your life. Uh, that have been causing pains and sorrow to you. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, their mouth is shut up. Then I was in the den of lion. He had the highest escort. Our governors. Our president, then, whenever they go in, they have escort, human escort. But Daniel had the highest escort, lion escort. My goodness. The day lion fasted. Caused by a man. Caused by a man. The glory of God in him radiated. And God gave them instruction. Somebody is coming extraordinary. Coming with power. Coming with light. Coming with majesty. Somebody is powerfully coming. Come on. All of you. He's my son. He must be honored. Even the animal, even lions are not Daniel. The Bible didn't say one lion. Lions are not Daniel. And the Bible said early in the morning, the king went there. Look at verse 19. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in the house unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a, with a lamentable Void. He was in tears. Oh, Daniel. Oh, Daniel. And what happened? And the king spake and said, Oh, Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Verse 20 now. Servant of the living God is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lion. So God is able. My God is able. Abundantly able to deliver, hallelujah, and to save. Our God is able, abundantly able to deliver those who trust in Him. Yeah, those that trust in Him, He's well able, He's worthy, He's great to deliver them. Daniel was delivered from the den of lion. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And the Bible said, the king said, Ah, ah. Then Daniel said unto the king, O king, live forever. 
My God has sent his angel. Hallelujah. And has shut the mouth of lion. The Lord is it that closes the mouth of lions. That they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocence was found in me. I didn't do anything. Greed, jealous. Also before the O king, have I done no hurt? Then, we look at verse 23. Vengeance has started. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. As many that saw you going down will see you coming up. As many that talk you down will be the one to promote the goodness of the Lord in you. Hallelujah. Out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no manner of fault was found in him because he believed in his God. No hurt shall be found in you. No manner of hurt shall be found in you because you believe in your God. Look at verse 24. And the king commanded that they brought those men whom have accused Daniel, that they cast them into the den of lion, the, uh, the, uh, lion, them, their children, and their wife, and the lion had the mastery of them, and break all their bones and pieces, or after they came at the bottom of the den. Don't dare God. Don't, 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 don't. If you know who to fear, fear God. He is the God of God. He is the God of honor, power, might, and majesty. Hallelujah. King, you mean you are alive. Your God delivered you. Your God set you free. Then I say yes, now. That's nothing you cannot do. He's God of all time. All is in all power. He's the God that is above everything. The king said, I beg, bring him up. The same people that threw him down went and brought him up. In their houses, their faces have changed. They were celebrating. Then the stupid man has gone. I know some of them would drink that night to stupor and slept up only to wake up and say that he's alive, amen. He's alive. Daniel is alive. He is not dead. He's alive. Oh. People were singing the song, Daniel is alive. Daniel is not dead. Daniel is alive. Daniel is not dead. Daniel is alive. Daniel is not dead. What is happening? Talk, don't tell the story. They rushed to the palace and the king was saying, Aha, you are one of them. Eh? Come. Do you know the people? The king said, Bring your accusers. Who are the accusers? The presidents. There were three presidents. The two of them. The princes. People of the land. Do you know what the Bible said? The Bible said, For your sake, he will give other people's life. To preserve you, God will allow many to die, many to go. For you to be preserved, because you are the righteous man God is looking for. You are the righteous woman God is looking for. Stop provoking God. Stop committing sin. Allow God to start and finish, finish what he has started in you. Are you hearing me? God is waiting for the time you will manifest in purity, you will manifest in cleanliness, the time you will be holy, the time you keep yourself pure and righteous before the Lord. As I'm talking right now, let the purification power of God come to you. The power to purify you, to be holy and be steadfast. You are holy today, you are provoked tomorrow. Let there be steadfastness in you, in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible, the word of God said, the king said, bring him out. All your accusers have been dropped down. Before, you know, the lions were in fasting now. Hallelujah. The lions have been fasting. They needed to break their fast. I remember in those days when we got born again, you go into a very long fast, you are fasting, you don't know what to, you are going to use to break your fast. You don't know. In those days, there was a day I went to 40 days, I was in secondary school. I went the 40 days praying and fasting. My mother didn't even know, nobody knew. When they gave me my morning food, my afternoon food, people used to troop to our house in those days when I was in secondary school for prayers and deliverance and deliverance. So when they come, I'll give them my food that we eat in the night. God is God of miracles. When you fast, don't think of what you are going to use to break it. God is there to provide for you. Especially when you are not working. Are you? Now people say, I can't fast because I have nothing to break it. Put God to a test. And you see provision will come. There's three purples, purple tree in my house. Do you know because I was fasting, every day one was ripe. For these days, that was what I was eating to have. That was when I knew the ingredients in purple. The papaya. Papa is very, very powerful for ingredients of health. It's a complete meal. Hmm. This lion have fasted now. Nah? When you are fast, you eat now. Nah? The king said, drop them, bring them. Knowing that there will not be enough. The lions were many. And they have been on fasting. The king said, include their husband, wives. 
He said, no, it will still not be enough. Include their children. So that this lion that had been fasting will eat. Nobody knew the lion was fasting, but God knew the lion was fasting and then will break it. You have been fasting for a long time. You will break it one day. Are you hearing me? You have plenty. You have abundance. Your request will be granted you. That visa will be granted you. Your family will come over to you. You have stayed without your family. People don't know the sacrifice. They were seeing other part of you. They were seeing flamboyantness of this. They never knew. You have been worried. You have been without your family for long. But very soon, Jehovah Lord, the mighty man of valor, is going to do it again. And you will be together with your family. There will be complete joy and happiness and gladness that will be dancing in Jesus' name. Amen. What a great God we serve. What a mighty. If you, this prophecy is for you, about your family being together with you, Jehovah bringing them, say amen to that, and it will work out for you. Amen. The Bible said, before they could come down, the lion was jumping over them. And so many of them were there, the lion would finish one, and went to another one. See, the, the Bible says, lion was eating their bones. Lion only eat flesh. Not every part of flesh. But because they were hungry fast than lion, they ate up everything. Including bones. That's what the Bible says. Their wives. Uh -huh. Lion break their bones. Lion has nothing to do with breaking up bone. No, no, no. It doesn't go with bone. But look at what happened. Lion had the mastery of them and break all their bones. That's in verse 24. Break all their bones. Child of God. You have a vindicator. You have a God of ice or battle. We're going to ask him not to do it again. Can you be still? Can you be on the, on the righteous side with him? Can you be on the holy side with him? And the battle will be his and not yours. Shall we begin to pray? Hallelujah. The king then came and promoted Daniel. Your promotion is too short. Your promotion is at the corner there. You're promoted. Oh, mama, mama, mama. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We worship you, O oh Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Mama, mama, mama. Can you begin to say, God, forgive me in any way I have so belittled you. I have seen the power of Jehovah. I've heard about the mightiness of the Lord. I'm sorry belittling you. So in any way I belittle you, forgive me. Forgive me. I need this mighty grace of yours. I need this power of yours. And this power cannot come until you are born again. Do you want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior? If that is what you want to do, can you say after me? Can you say, Lord Jesus? I'm sorry I am a sinner. Forgive me all my sins, Lord. Give me grace to be a child of God. And let your mighty hand come upon my life. I receive you now, Lord Jesus Christ, as my Lord and personal Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray for you for grace of God upon your life. The God of mercy will show you mercy. God of love will show you love. From this moment, your sins be forgiven and righteousness be seen in you. Sin no more. God has forgiven you in Jesus' name. God bless you. For you that are born again already, may God cleanse in you. Every fear, every doubt. In any way you fear your God is not able to show up. May that doubt go off you now. May the power of faith be planted in you. For with God nothing shall be impossible. May your God arise in your situation. In that ugly situation, as it's getting bad and bad and bad, may Jehovah arise for you. May God Almighty arise for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The God of honor, power, might and majesty arise for you. The mighty man of valor arise for you. At the end of the day is arise for you. Jehovah shall arise for you. The Lord fight your battles in the name of Jesus. All the lions that have been against you, their mouth will be shut up. Everything that was sent against you will turn and walk for you. And walk for your own betterment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, child of God, Daniel said, innocence was found in me. May God dictate your innocence. All the accusations made against you. May the Lord be the one to fight your battle. May God vindicate you. May the Lord fight your battle. May the Lord put the devil to shame. And let the name of Christ be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I got to see you again on this message by Sunday. God, our body and beauty. Tomorrow evening, I'll be there with you by 7 p.m. Nigerian time. And now, since yesterday night, uh, UK time and Nigerian time, you know it's just the same now. 
7 p.m. here right now is 7 p.m. UK time. Okay, so you know how to adjust. Uh, so that you can know how to adjust. God bless you. Remember, marriage seminar is coming up. 17, 18, 19th of next month. Send forth your questions through my WhatsApp. First come, first serve. And God will be glorified. Thank you, Lord, forever. God be glorified. God bless you. I got to see you more. Remember, lion can fast because of you. It is well. Remember, bless and favor that we meet again. God will keep you by the power of his mind. Amen.